What's going on, y'all? What it is? So let's go ahead and slide on this topic. And I want to talk about this situation that's going down between Nakia and her husband, Lynn Price, because it seems as though this dude is an absolute monster. I came across some information. It looks like that Nakia actually filed a restraining order against him earlier this year and the details of that restraining order will absolutely blow your mind now a lot of people out there in the houston area this is no surprise to them because this dude is known to go for bad he acts as though he's a gangster and he can't be touched and so he has a real real rugged and raw and ratchet personality especially within the city of houston now in the last video that i did in regards to this situation which was yesterday i basically showed you what nakia had to say about the situation and then i showed you where lynn apologized to his wife while promoting his business something that i wasn't a fan of but he apologized right but anyway what i did know is that lynn made a video in regards to his wife's accusations now i don't know if he made this video before he made the public apology Apology on Instagram, but I want you guys to check this video out and then I'll be right back. Really? Really? I'm a man with no emotion. I'm a man with no emotion. <laughs> I'm a man with no emotion. Man, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You better stop it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Women. And their emotions. Everybody know I ain't got no emotions. <laughs> Everybody know I ain't got no emotions. I'm built like that. I ain't got no emotions. I ain't gonna lie. But I ain't up on the hustling side. I can tell you that. A lot of men up on the hustling side. <laughs> you can get emotions, but you can't get awesome. Understand that? I'm up on the emotional side because I know how to hustle. Understand that? You can't make it awesome. Now you guys heard what he had to say about the situation, just so out of touch, right? Still not listening to what his wife is trying to tell him, but I do want to give a shout out to Creole Kisses Diary TV here on YouTube. That's where I was able to pull this clip. So you guys do me a favor, check out her channel. And if you're rocking with the content, go ahead and show the sister some love and subscribe to her channel. Now let's get back to the video where you guys just saw Lynn basically saying, I'm not an emotional person. My wife is just in her feelings. She's an emotional person and things of that nature. And then he reverts back to the business side of things. He's always talking about money and just judging from certain video clips that I've seen of this egotistical and boastful buffoon on social media he definitely likes to be the center of attention he also loves letting people know that he got that paper right he balling he's a very braggadocious individual and he's definitely very quick to call somebody broke especially those people that were questioning the prices at his restaurant he tried to shame them for not being financially stable so this is a very nasty individual and quite frankly i don't like that type of n now his wife on the other hand it's been said that she has a nasty disposition about herself as well but it doesn't mean that her and her kids deserve to be treated like so let's go ahead and read this restraining order that she basically filed against him earlier this year and so it says here in the matter of the marriage of nakia price and lindale l price and in the interest of dylan indy price and lennox lindale price the children petitioner's affidavit in support nakia price personally appeared before me and stated under oath my name is nakia price and i'm over the age of 18 i am competent to testify and therefore make this affidavit this affidavit is based on my personal knowledge and the facts are true and correct i am the petitioner in the above captioned suit I am currently in possession of the children that are the subject of this suit. I'm going to skip straight down to the bottom because in the middle is some very personal information and it says Lindell Price has committed family silence. All right. I'm paraphrasing there against me within 30 days before the date of this application was filed. The last date was June 6, 2023, when we had a physical confrontation. Lindell Price has a reputation as a person with a quick temper and commits silent acts. Again, I'm paraphrasing there. On June 8, 2023, I was contacted by a detective regarding the incident, and I am of the belief that charges have been filed against him for physical silence. Lindale L. Price has been convicted and imprisoned under federal charges. I am sincerely fearful of his conduct as he is aware of this divorce and he was not able to be served with the papers for appearance in court on May 30 of 2023 when he threatened the man who was trying to serve him. The silent nature of Lindale Price causes an immediate and urgent problem. I am the owner of a business named the Turkey Leg Hut that is located at 4830 Almada Road. I own the business and operate under an LLC. I also own a state of Texas alcohol liquor license due to the criminal background of Lindell L. Price. 
I am the sole owner and of each. My employees are terrified and frightened of Lindell L. Price and he has threatened them with silence. He comes into the business and goes into the cash registers and withdraws the cash money for his own personal use without regards to consideration for the expenses and debts of the business, which causes irreparable harm. He is not a signature on the bank account for the business, so he threatens my personal assistant with modelly harm to write a check for any amount that he demands generally in the thousands of dollars my employees are so frightened that i'm losing employees because of his silent nature i am fearful for my employees safety as well as my own there is a clear and present danger that lindale l price is likely to commit family silence against me or a member of the turkey leg hut employee staff and lindale l price should for that reason be excluded from the business and not allowed to be within a thousand feet of the location since lindale l price has over the years made it a practice to withdraw cash money from the turkey leg hut business he has accumulated a considerable wealth outside of the money that he has wastefully spent on miscellaneous women and other wastes real property is owned by us in brazoria county texas in the form of acreage with a large barn Lindale L. Price advertises on social media that he's the owner of more than 50 cars. I am personally aware that he has at least 20 or more of these cars that are located in the barn in Brazoria County, Texas, and I am fearful that Lindale Price will hide, secrete, and or sell these vehicles against the community and request that he be specifically ordered not to sell, trade, or give away any vehicle while divorce is pending. On June 15, 2023, Lindale L. Price forcefully took the keys from the vehicle that I drive and left our home. Upon returning, we got into an argument as he refused to return my keys. On today, June 16th, he is refusing to turn over my keys to the vehicle, and I'm frightened that he will inflict mildly injury. I'm paraphrasing again, guys. And my attorney's advice was to leave and catch an Uber to work. I am requesting this restraining order as I feel not only am I inconvenienced without my vehicle for transportation to work, but I feel that I'm in danger of physical accuse as well as danger of continued disruption to my place of business for me and danger to my employees. And that in order to continue to do business in a lawful and orderly manner and to preserve the community property, that this restraint is necessary for my business and personal protection for which I have no other remedy at law. All right, so that was a tough read. It was kind of blurry. It was kind of hard to see. It was a tough read. The wording was off. It was crazy, y'all, but I got through it, all right? And excuse me if I sound a little bit nasally. I have a head cold going on here, but it is what it is. The show must go on. But anyway, what she's saying about him must be true because he did the same thing that she did, and now his account on Instagram is private. So listen, the details of this restraining order that she filed against her husband back in June, they're just wicked, right? And I don't know how you know he comes back from that i don't know how she goes back to him i think that she needs to follow through and just cut ties you know what i'm saying and follow through with the divorce in my opinion at the end of the day he has no respect for you he has no respect for the children and it seems as though the only thing that he has respect for is anything that solely benefits him this dude is a true narcissist but anyway i'm gonna let this go right here i want you guys to drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about this whole entire situation don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and until next time peace